Look at all that rust. This thing was loose. It was not even tight on there. I come it's prepared. So cool. I come prepared. Full pistons on the Hellcat. <laughs> Diddy up badge. What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Certified. I'm back with another banger for you guys. Y'all already know what's up. If you're not subscribing to this channel yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You know why? Because it don't cost me nothing. It won't cost you nothing. Just click that red button. You know what I'm saying? Got my dog being hurt with me. You know what I'm saying? We headed down to Avila Performance to get these brakes swapped, man. I've been on the forums. I've been on IG. I've been searching for the past couple of months on upgrading my brakes. And, uh, <clears throat> found somebody that is trying to do a swap with me so i'm getting his six piston rotors and uh well not the rotors the six piston calibers and rotors and um he's taking my four piston calibers and rotors from my car so it's an even swap and didn't cost me nothing so hey why not it's a, it's a free upgrade He's trying to do a weight reduction kit on his Hellcat, so because the four pistons are lighter. So, but yeah, we're gonna talk about this here in a second when I get down there. But before we get into this thing, I wanna send a big shout out to Free Smoke because last night when I uh, checked my mailbox, I ended up finding something amazing. So I'm gonna turn to that clip real quick and I'll get back with y'all. So I know this probably doesn't have anything to do with this video, but because I just literally checked my mail and I saw this in my mailbox. I had to, I had to shoot it real quick just so, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see the excitement that I got because the minute I saw this, I got excited. So check this out. So of course, for privacy purposes, I'm not going to show the address, but when I saw this, I'm actually gonna uh, see if I can do it real quick. Boom, y'all see it right here. Y'all see it right here. So I'm actually gonna open this on video. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Got me. Boy, y'all package this real good. I ain't even gonna front. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo, fat cat, garage driven, modern day muscle. I appreciate y'all, man. Like real talk, free smoke. It's free smoke gang. Like I'm, I'm free smoke squad. Y'all already know what it is, man. I definitely appreciate you guys for sending me this. This is amazing. So y'all see it right there. Fat cat, garage driven, modern day muscle. You know what I'm saying? There's free smoke squad in the building. Y'all already know. But definitely, definitely appreciate you guys. All right, as y'all seen, big shout out to Free Smoke, man. Like, if y'all have not watched that live, make sure y'all check out that live. I'm gonna post it up here for you guys in case you missed that live. If you wanna get an exclusive insider on who Certified is and just, you know, get a get a little more personal um, conversation that I've had with Free Smoke. It was just a basic interview and, you know, just asking questions and stuff like that. A lot of stuff y'all will probably already know about me if you've been following me since day one on this channel but if not make sure y'all check out the interview but headed down to Avila right now and we're gonna catch you guys when we get there let go oh man what's going on big man hey. getting hard at work already yeah, yeah. ain't wasting no time <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when uh, Gerald hit me up, I was like, what? I was like, you know how long I've been waiting for somebody to do this? Like, I've been looking on the forums. I've been looking at uh, uh, IG because I've been trying to buy these for a minute. Yeah. And uh, everybody been taxing, 
asking for those things. I was oh, like, dude, man. Dude, it was crazy. Like, I go, I want a quarter mile. Yeah. Better. Yeah. They're, how much lighter are they? Uh, I don't even know how much pounds I know, but all the, all the guys are going to that. Oh, really? Yeah, but I know this is your biggest right here. Yeah. Yeah. This big boy right here. Yeah. I'm excited, man. So, like, I'm excited. Like, it's, it's, it's definitely because I had a scat pack before. Great brakes on a scat pack. Yeah. <laughs> so for my channel, this is Brandon, everybody. You know what I'm saying? They call him the mad scientist for a reason. You want to shout out anything where they can find you at for any type of bills you want? Uh, Vila Performance on Instagram and also on uh, Facebook, Vila Performance. Definitely check them out, man. Y'all see this purple Hellcat thing. But yeah, man, that's that's the tail. Yeah. What, <laughs> you got anything done to it? Uh, upper pulley. Um, cat look. Cat delete mm -hmm. uh, 309 in the rear. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, red eye rear end. A red eye transmission. Okay, uh, okay. The internals, cold air, uh, and that's it right now. So the red eye transmission compared to the regular Hellcat transmission. A little bit stronger. A little bit stronger? Okay. Yeah, a little bit stronger. That one went out, that's why. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's, it's, yeah. Is it still the HP90 or? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. It's just got different clutches up there, so it's been huh. okay. slightly better. So if I wanted to upgrade to a red eye transmission, what would I need? On the scat? Yeah. Uh, Obviously a tune, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you, you want to get tuned anyway. Right. Uh, starters on actually on the complete opposite side. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause this is different. Like red eye transmission, this transmission is very close, similar, mm -hmm. but yours is a completely different one. Uh, so, okay. um, starter wire, that'd be the biggest Got you. So it's not just a direct swap. No. Got you. Got you. I haven't done that one, but I know the wires can. You can just move it over or not. Got gotcha. you. So if you just move it over, have a good day. Right, right. And then just get programmed, you know. <laughs> something, something to keep in mind in the future. Oh, yeah. But we gonna get this thing going. I know he's already hard at work. Y'all already see Nunu back here in the backdrop. You know what I'm saying? These things, these things are about to come off of there. Them six pistons are gonna look good behind those wheels, man. Ugh, I can't wait, man, I'm so excited. Let go. So since I knew I was gonna get this brake job done, I ended up getting the uh, power stops. <laughs> because y'all know the OEM pads are extremely, extremely dusty. <laughs> so a lot of people complain about But for the direct, actually, if anybody wants to do this on the SCADs, it is a direct swap. Like, you don't need anything. It's literally just the calipers and rotors. Direct swap. You don't need brake lines, none of that. It's direct swap. For the RTs that don't have the Brembos or the SXCs, I think spindle. they need the whole spindle, yeah. Spindle. Yep. So, but it's definitely, literally, it's a direct swap. So if you know how to take your calipers out, it's literally two bolts. Um, behind here, which I'm actually gonna show you guys. It's two bolts behind here. Hope you guys can see that. Oh, I can barely, oh, there we go. This bolt right here and that bottom bolt right here. You take that bolt, those two bolts off and uh, this whole caliper comes off. Then you take the brake line off, which attaches right here take that brake line off and then you slide the rotor out and that's literally <coughs> that's literally it so so as you guys can see just to show you guys a better picture of it these are the two bolts i was talking about right here that are in the back take those out hey what size are those bolts on those uh calipers uh, 21. 21 millimeters so make sure you get a 21 millimeter socket or wrench Take those bolts out, boom, caliper slides off, and you literally pull the rotor out. You might have to get a hammer or something behind here because they like to get a little seized up in this area, but you hammer behind it and then pull the rotor off, and that's really all it is. But these things, yes sir, yes sir. So I'm not, I've noticed a lot of, especially newer, like red eye chargers and stuff, they have that clicking noise from the rotors. Is that from the actual rotor hat 
that's like the the shims is that because it's loose on there or no what? i think a, a lot of it is in here all right get it in here ah okay so we just buy it's like you know sometimes mm. uh, is know there a fix for that Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited, y'all. I'm definitely excited. All right, so just to correct, because he, he is a mechanic, so I, I know I said earlier you hit a hammer behind it to, I generally take a hammer behind here because I use a rubber mallet and it generally, I've never had an issue with this stuff, these rotors coming off. But if you have an extreme problem getting these rotors off, he was saying to hit it in these areas um, just to kind of loosen up the rust in that area to be able to slide these rotors off. But if you want to start off with a rubber mallet and just hit back here, it will work. I've never had an issue, but to be safe. You, live, you don't live up north. Uh, <laughs> you don't live up north. <laughs> no. You ain't doing crap with it. <laughs> but yeah, correction. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep it a buck on my channel. You know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is, but the mad scientist is getting this work done. You know what I'm saying? If you need any help, man, let me know. I'll get wooded. my hands dirty. <laughs> Tight area. Yeah, sometimes I'll be trying to scream at engineers like, who designed this? Like, y'all know this stuff needs to be replaced eventually. The, you know, the, the hardest mod that I did on this car was this front lip. Yeah, I, I was wondering why you kept it off so long, man. Well, I kept it off because of the fact that I knew I was going to get the bags put on there, yeah. and I didn't want to damage this, yeah. especially with these roads here in Jacksonville. Yeah. But uh, under here, as y'all see, y'all see all these screw holes, and I had to drill out holes to actually fit the factory screws. So pretty much. Pretty much, I had to go behind the bumper, take the bumper off, and put washers and self-locking nuts on these uh, screws because at high speeds, a lot of people don't realize it's a lot of downforce that, or a lot of wind that happens in this area, and a lot of people tend to rip these front splitters off when they go above certain speeds. So you definitely want to make sure this thing is on there. So the caliper is off. Funny if I would have just bleed. Yeah. Oh. That's why I'm not like <laughs> I've never had an issue. Look at the size of this. <laughs> that is crazy. That's crazy. Oh yeah, it's definitely a weight difference too. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wish I had a scale to actually I know, see I'm how much that. heavier it is. I was thinking, I was like, oh. For those trying to race me on the channel, I know y'all looking at it like, ooh, he adding weight to the car. He about to catch this smoke. It's all good. Don't worry. Give me some time. Give me some time. <laughs> Rolling's got power flow. Right. Nice. The beauty about, about two-piece rotors is that you can literally just change the, the ring hat, the ring, rotor ring. Yeah. I don't know the technical term. Excuse me for anybody that's technically advanced in mechanics watching this channel, but the rotor ring. <laughs> you can literally just change that out and just take these bolts off and go and swap it out. You don't have to replace the whole thing, but I know eventually I'm gonna replace them. Um, Cause I'm probably gonna go with like, the, I like the kangaroo paw um, design that they have for these rotors. So, but that's down the road. 
clamping off the brake line. Preserve some of the brake fluid. A little bit. And not let a whole lot of air in your system too either. saying your car is trash because he's my friend I'm not gonna do him like that on my channel so I'm gonna let him slide with him. before y'all slander me yes this is regular detail spray I don't really care right now because these will be getting painted soon Do you have any uh, brake clean spray? No, degreaser. Mm -hmm. Or degreaser? Brake clean. You do have brake clean? Yeah, okay. Yes. What's that? Uh, yes, oh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that right. definitely will work. All right, so we got these things all cleaned up. Y'all seen them earlier. Ooh. In that area right there too. Um, actually, no, I'm just gonna keep the top area clean. So, yeah, we we'll get these things mounted up. These look good. Yeah, they look real good. They gonna look even better on the car when I uh, paint them because, spoiler alert, they are getting painted white. One side is almost done. Uh, just a quick tip that they actually taught me because normally when I put on these rotors, I kind of just slide them on there and then I'm over here fighting with the caliper and trying to make sure that it's all lined up and stuff. A little tip, y'all see that little lug nut right there? Put it on there to actually hold your rotor in place while you're trying to slide the caliper on so you're not fighting with the calipers. It's so, like easier, but it's easier. You know, work smarter, not harder. You know, but that's the difference between actual mechanics <laughs> and backyard mechanics like Sort-of-like myself. Grease monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> but either way, the job will get done. It's just this is an easier way to do it, and it'll save you a little bit of time than trying to fight with the rotor while you're getting the calipers on. But as you guys see, it is a direct swap. Like there's nothing else that got swapped out. It was literally just this caliper and that rotor so if you guys want to do six pistons on your scats that does not have six pistons you can do it because the dynamics package um, that comes with the six pistons on the I think it's 2019s and up or 2020s and up anyways this is a 2020 the dynamics package does come with the six pistons but it is a $3,500 package which all you're gaining from that is literally those six piston Brembo's because the back Brembo's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. The adjustable suspension, which, in my opinion, is it worth it? Yes. Mm. I will say I've had them on my last charger. I did have them on my last charger, but I knew I was getting this car back. So for me, it wasn't worth the upgrade. <laughs> but the six pistons, I'm glad you corrected me. The six pistons and the suspension, but for me, I knew I was gonna eventually get the six, six pistons put on there, but it's a lot cheaper to go with that. And the back brakes are literally, the Brembo's in the back are the same brakes that the Hellcats come with. So literally all you're gaining from that is the the six pistons in the front, but they do make a big difference in stopping power. I will, I will admit to that. All right, so everything is done. She is in there. Oh. We did put the uh, power stop brakes, the pads in there. So it does have new pads. Everything is in there. So we're gonna do a before and after because the other side hasn't gotten done yet. So once the wheel is mounted, I'll show you guys a before and after. Um, so as we uh, decide, finished up, I've asked them about my little ball joint. If y'all watched my video where I was telling you guys that every time I turned my wheel, I was hearing this noise. Come to find out, 
this thing was loose. It was not even tight on there. Hmm. Huh. It better be tight. So, Malahini, I got a bone to pick with y'all. <laughs> got a bone to pick. No, it's, it, y'all did still did a good job. I'm not gonna lie, but that right there is a little unset. Luckily, nothing happened. So, but. We gonna still see if we can get some grease in there because I can slide this boot up yeah. just a hair to get some grease in this ball joint so we don't have to replace this. Why are we doing this brake swap? All right, so real quick, everything is on there. Those six pistons look good behind those wheels, man. Look at that. So I'm, this is a before, I'm, I'm sorry, this is actually an after. <laughs> And I'm gonna show you guys the before. And this is the before. Y'all see that difference? That's crazy. All right, so since he showed me how to do the other side, I'm gonna attempt to do this side. Hey, good reference. Righty tighty, left you see. <laughs> I already know, but for video's purposes, why do we pinch that line? Oh, you asking me? Yeah. Oh, so you don't lose fluid. Uh, you leave the line open, the fluid just pour out, and then you have a lot of bleeding. Yeah, a lot of air getting in the lines. And you lose a lot of fluid. I mean, you still have to bleed the brakes after you do yeah, the squat. Of course, anyways, right. of course. But it makes the job much easier. I got to give it to certified though, man. Like when it comes to like knowledge, he does his, he does his research. Like when he get to talking, he know it's like he will do his research. That's good. I mean, he, will, hey, bro, he will research the shit out of something, bro. Man, look. And then once Got he to. knows it, he knows it. Got to man, cause like you get a lot of people that just talk out of their butts and mess their cars up, man. You, I, I'm gonna get me wrong. I used to, I'm not even gonna front. I used to be that guy that, based on what I've heard. I try to teach other people, and in some cases it has bit me in the butt, so it made me realize that, hey, do your own research to where you have your own experience in it, to where you can speak from actual fact instead of hearsay. And you don't look like an idiot in the end either, <laughs> especially if you talk to somebody that actually knows what they're talking about and they're looking at you like what what and <laughs> hey, hey, you get that this face yeah like what <laughs> okay <laughs> right hey do that face again brandon because <laughs> to be honest with you when it comes to car audio stuff that's my forte now be careful detailing paint correction that's my forte so when I hear a lot of these guys talk about, oh, you can do this, that, and the third, or when it comes to systems, oh, I got this, that, I got this much wattage, and I got two subs, and blah, 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 and I'm just looking at them like a breath. <laughs> okay. Be careful of the studs. Right. Oh, yeah. He got it. He got an easy one. <laughs> I literally had to bang the shit out of some of them, bro. <laughs> I come prepared. You wanna inspect it? No, don't turn it around. Okay. Yeah. You wanna inspect it? Come on. Hey. Would have sucked if that thing bent or something like that. Well, let's put your brakes back on your car. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Right. <laughs> put them back on. We'll do 
Let's swap another day. <laughs> I would have took it back to Dodge. Like, what? I don't know how it happened. <laughs> all right, so since this thing was off, we decided to check this upper ball joint as well. Haven't even touched it yet. Look at this. See how loose that is? Still got the cotter pin in there. Yep, cotter pin's in there. We haven't even touched it. Granted, this side is not creaking on me, but Malahini, what's going on, man? Y'all a good shot. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all are a great shot. Y'all do great work. Attention to detail. I'm still gonna recommend people to y'all though, but since y'all see the mistake y'all made on mine, we gonna do it on the next car. So, have y'all ever seen a Hellcat four piston Brembo's? Custom, baby, custom. Four pistons on a Hellcat. <laughs> Did he up badge? <laughs> Lock tight on these bolts. All right, so just finished it up myself since he taught me how to do the other side. Um, kind of knew the basics, but he taught me some pointers on how to do this stuff easier. One of the biggest things is the whole rotor, holding the rotor on with a lug nut. I never did that, so learned that today, but definitely put the, the new pads in there. I did not put that on film, because if you want to watch how to change the brake pads, make sure you tune in to the, the video that I did. I'm actually going to link it up top right here um, if you want to know how to change the brake pads on these. But it is all done. It's time to put these wheels back on and showcase it when I pull it out. But before we actually pull it out, obviously the other side, I did not showcase how to bleed the brakes. We just got done bleeding these, but I'll let him explain real quick how you bleed those six pistons because there is a process for that. On the six piston, you got two different bleeders at the mm -hmm. top, both sides. I start with the first one, mm -hmm. all the way on the inside. Inside one. Closest yep. one for the air, get it out. Mm -hmm. uh, you see right here? Yep. Uh, then after stop, come to this side. Gotcha. I'll uh, pump again, and then I just go back, forth, back, forth, make sure there's no air coming out. Gotcha. I do it, what we did, about five, five yeah. times or whatever. Yep. As long as you get that with no air, you get that. Gotcha. You get uh, whereas the other ones, the older style, they only have one. One side, right. More your conventional style, they only have one bleeder at the top. And make sure your bleeder's at the top, not the bottom. <laughs> I was telling them a story when I actually did a brake job on one of my cars uh, in the past. I actually accidentally swapped because they do fit on the other side. Like it's 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 a fit. It will fit, and it was on the bottom, and I even, didn't realize it. Even your regular cars, uh, a lot of that we've actually seen that a couple of times. But what happens is it'll be down here, and your bleeder will be right here, uh -huh. and you only your fluid will come up to here. Right. The air still. Right. So you compress it, and the air compresses. So it, you have no brakes. She is all done, so it's time to put them wheels on. You're not gonna lift it up? I ain't gonna let you get dirty. You're my cameraman. No, 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 I got it. Oh, look at him. Look at him, he like, forget that shirt. <laughs> Don't you scratch my wheel. Don't you scratch my wheel. <laughs> all right, so we just pulled it out and uh, Look at how that looks, y'all. That looks so good. And when I tell you, when I test drove it real quick before I actually posted it up, obviously, because you see it's all aired out, you know. Um, those six pistons make a big difference. <laughs> big difference. Granted, the four pistons definitely gripped, but these, oh yeah, definitely worth the upgrade. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It just fills out that wheel, that that wheel area so much more, man. Granted, I will need to change out those rotors eventually, um, but they're good for now. This looks good. And then we have Brandon's Hellcat with the scat brakes. Out. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a up badged Hellcat. Up <laughs> Somebody's gonna look, literally walk around and be like, oh, he up badged that. A Hellcat, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he up badged that. He don't even have the Hellcat brakes. Oh, this, this is definitely a true sleeper right here now. 
That's crazy. But Brandon, I appreciate you. Definitely appreciate you. If you guys need to do get any work done, y'all see his shop, man. He's he does what what don't you do? Um big big trucks. Big big trucks. Okay. But and like industrial I, stuff, I don't. Got you. But you do full motor builds, all that stuff, right? So like I said, if you have not watched the video that I did on Gerald's car, 707 underscore Ryuk, he is the mastermind behind that build. Um, and that, and recently he just ran a 9.7 on the quarter, so. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get him a little bit quicker. Yeah, you just gotta Hopefully get used to that. This is gonna be... Hey, you're doing a full weight reduction on this thing, so. What's your ultimate goal with it? Uh, mid eights. Mid eights? Ooh. Mid eights. You, you talking demonology stats right now. Demonology, I think, is running mid to low mid eights, I believe. Man. I think we'll get this one. We got a couple cars. We're going to get mid eights, and then uh, we're going to get one gutted out fully. Full race car, and that one hopefully in the low seven sixes. Well, when that time comes, you're definitely going to be my, uh, my guy and point of contact for my build because you're legit. You're definitely legit. All right, so there you guys have it. Y'all see how to do a six piston brake swap on your scats if you guys want to do it. It is a direct swap as you guys just saw. It's literally just the calipers and rotors. That is it. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some good information in this video. Um, one of the biggest things that I wanted to showcase as well that we all make mistakes and we there's times when you may get pointers from somebody that has more experience than you. I've done plenty of brake jobs on cars. I've done a lot of work on my car myself, but there's always pointers that I can take from that. And I wanted to show that in the video. I'm not the type of person that will cut out everything and make it seem like I know everything because I don't. So I hope you guys learned as much as I did in this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so y'all miss any upcoming bangers that I'm dropping on the channel in the future. Follow me on Instagram and hashtag salute and certified drip on all your pictures and videos to show support to the channel. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have a good day.